I am Sayas Migupta, co-founder of 10x for the kids and today we are starting JavaScript. We are going to be learning today JavaScript and today is tutorial number one of our language JavaScript. So before we uh, start, I would like to say thanks to Code with Harry for making such outstanding and easy tutorials to learn JavaScript. Okay. So we are not going to do a tutorial and tutorial and tutorial. What we are going to do is that Code with Harry uh, had made a video of practice sets in which whatever the topics he had covered, he would make a practice set of questions, right? And we are going to solve them. So while solving them, I will just explain them to you so our concepts will be crystal clear. So, uh, sorry about that. So we are going to create a REPL, HTML, CSS and JavaScript and we are going to write JavaScript, JavaScript exercise number one, ooh, 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 sorry, exercise num, sorry, exercise number one and we are creating REPL and it will be done. So here is code with Harry. So here's the practice set. Look guys. Um, look guys. Uh, he um, uh, made some tutorials, right? You can view them on his channel, Code with Harry, right? So in this practice set, I'll explain all the concepts, right? So yeah. So the first question is: create a variable of type string. And try to add a number to it right so basically what in any language it's saying us to basically create a variable and concatenate a number with it very simple okay come on any day now okay perfect so we're gonna delete this hello world otherwise it will also be showing right script.js okay so what you're gonna do is make a variable so what are variables basically variables are containers in your house there will be containers which contain sugar salt wheat etc etc right and you would also name those containers like this is the wheat container this is a sugar container and like that right similarly in javascript also we have containers where we can store data right so uh, that those basically in computers another name for containers would be variables so in before when uh, uh, javascript was introduced they would use var keyword right a var keyword to crea uh, create a variable but var keyword is global scoped which means basically there will be our whole code when we go ahead so basically in that whole code you can use that variable right which can sometimes create bugs right because of which they introduced let so let is block scope for example you make a variable using the let keyword in your in your function right so you can make another variable with the same name right because it is block scoped that variable which was made in the function will be inside for the function only right not for the whole code whereas var var can be used in the whole code in the function in the loops and everything right then there's also const for example, you have a sugar container, right? And you know for the rest of your life, you're not gonna change the data in that. Basically, you're not gonna contain wheat instead of sugar, right? And you're 100% sure. So basically, you're not gonna change the data in that variable, right? For that, you will use const, okay? Right now, we'll do let let a here's the name after let here's the name of the variable or the container so let a oh, oh, is equals to sayasmi as it was saying create a variable uh, with a string with data type in it right and then 
I concatenate a number with it. So instead of making a variable at the do I get, what we're gonna do is just do console.log. So console.log, what I'll do is a plus 27, right? So a plus 27 so it will now concatenate so if we run oh sorry I forgot it's console.log so here it's the page is open I go here on these three dots more tools developer tools and in the console look it has got so I asked me and 27 it has concatenated the string and the number <coughs> Sorry guys about that. Right. So basically question number one is done. Perfect. Oh, oh. Right. So question number one is done. Is done. Is done. Right. And now we're going to come. Okay. Now the next exercise is use type of operator to find the data type of the string in last question so basically there's a keyword no not a keyword it's an operator it's a type of operator right from which you can take out the type basically what type is it containing is it a string is it a boolean is it a number is it an integer it's a, is it a floating no there's no float in this is it a null is it undefined whatever right so to find that out <coughs> so sorry guys so we are gonna do console dot log type of a right we have to look it's a type of of the string in the last question right so it should get us a pretty easy a string and when we will see on the console look it's getting a string perfect guys so question number two is done so I'm also going to give you a homework question. So question number three is, I'll just full screen so that it's visible for all of you. So it's saying create a const object in JavaScript. Can you change it to hold a number later? So one thing if you remember is what I told you is when you're 100% sure you're not going to change the value of that variable then only you're going to use the const keyword, right? So it said to create use const and make an object, right? So we are going to do const b is equal to this is how you, you know, make a object type, right? Oh const b and here are the key value pairs name i'm gonna just say ask me class seventh oh i forgot we have to put this in quotes right so now when we have made our object oh sorry real console.log B first <coughs> so sorry guys I have a sore throat right so now okay and not give that here yeah. what okay so we'll just remove it okay 
so here we have made our object type and now let's see it should run properly now right so now here we have got that text uh, object type right object this is an object okay so now when this is done now we are going to try to change it so what we're going to do is try to change it and we do b is equals to i guess 45 and console dot log b right so it will get an error why will it get an error it will get an error because we have given const and when you have given const you cannot change it <coughs> assignment to constant variable right so it's getting an error so question number three done so only two more to go is done okay so we'll just comment these out otherwise they'll get the error the whole time and here also <coughs> so last question i mean second last question try to add a new key to the const object in problem number three were you able to do it <coughs> okay so it's asking us to add in this add another key okay so we'll do question number four so what we're gonna do now is something very simple What's the name of the constant? The name of the constant is B. So we'll do B and yeah. We'll do a scion. And we'll do her brother. Okay? So here, this is how we add another key in a constant object. Right? Object. So we run it okay run it and now we reload it so look guys first as we are consoled or logged the uh, this object uh, uh, in which there was only one key it had gotten names i asked me and now after adding it has done it so congratulations guys we have also done question number four perfect so now guys, the last question is actually your homework. <coughs> so, write a JS program to create a word meaning dictionary of five words. So basically, just pick out five words, make a dictionary in that, right? Just like this, how we have made it. And yeah, and you'll be done. And that question number five is your homework, guys. Do not forget to do question number five and do give me your answers in the comment. Comment, right? Is is your homework? So guys, yeah, that was it. So simple, and we and we completed it. So yeah, guys, this was it for today, and we have started our journey to learn javascript guys so guys i hope you do the homework give me the answer in the comments and yeah guys thank you guys stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos bye guys